And it's probably those mountain range that pulled me back. So I, I wanted to be in my retirement to be able to see all this beautiful, beautiful, spectacular mountain range, which I grew up watching and. was an Australian Aboriginal song. It was this Nyinyi song. Uh, Nyinyi songs were the Nyinyi songs that I was teaching in the University of Adelaide. And there were special songs for people to learn about Aboriginal culture and what the Aboriginal do in the gathering of the food. This is the legal church that was built with the help of the, some of the visitors that came from Australia. And right now, the grass is falling off because the grass is rotten and so somehow this year it needs to be renewed. Um, currently the children are learning inside this church. It's a church but also it's a nursery school. Uh, um, I tried to grade this area with a grader all the way down there. I did the grading. And uh, it's a better ground and better setting for the kids. And there will be a beautiful playground here once we finish the construction of this. But I, that will all depend whether I can secure any funding from any sympathetic people that want to listen to the children who say, never, 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 they will surrender, they will never surrender education. Okay, right now, the children are standing on the foundation of the nursery school that need to, needs to be built when funds are available. And right where the kids are standing is the lower grade of the nursery school. Okay, right now, we're standing in the middle of the compound where the surgeons that come from the United States and hopefully from Australia in future England and other parts of Europe and Japan or other parts of Asia will come and do operations in our clinic. This is the surgeon's quarters. It's a clinic over there. A clinic that was brought from America as containers. And then we've constructed something on the top now. It looks like an actual building. Inside it's well air conditioned, all the containers are well air conditioned and everything is beautiful with all the necessary uh, medical things for testing, for x-rays and so on. Okay, as you can see, outside here it looks a real container and um, we're still looking for more money to develop the area a bit more. Okay, so now we're in the theater room. This is the setup in the container. It's got a theater area, as you can see. Um, the only problem is that we still don't have uh, a place, a ward where we can put the patients who are operated. And that's why we still got all the equipment is unused. So hopefully when we construct places where people can be admitted then we'll be able to use the theater okay so we're in the director of the clinics uh, uh, area and uh, the director is dr lorion and uh, dr lorion is having a big task here trying to work under this restricted environment as you can see it's a container the bed is constructed in a way that even you know uh, it reduces the area where you can sit. Uh, yeah, as uh, you see, uh, Uncle Ben explained, this is our situation here. Actually, we have a nice containers and it's well equipped, but the major ch challenges we are facing is that the place is very narrow and sometimes uh, even it is very difficult to move inside here. 
So I think, but uh, for me, it's better than uh, nothing. It's comfortable because it's a uh, air condition, uh, but the seating uh, is very restricted, and I don't know how it can last for the whole day, seeing hundreds of patients without getting really bad, bad, bad ache. Here, yeah. this is where we're gonna start the construction of the hospital. This is the area graded last year. It was very difficult to grade because it is full of rocks and all sorts of things. But anyway, it's all clean now and it's ready for us to do any construction that we want to do for the hospital. So we'll start the first construction over there and that's gonna be the children's ward. And then next to it will be the maternity. So this place where we cook for the doctors and nurses. Uh, we use this temporary stuff. Uh, um, hopefully when we can raise enough money, we'll be able to build a better facility for preparation of food for the people that work in the clinic here. This is the area where we're gonna develop. We only develop this area so that the people sick people can come and relax here. We're going to put some seats here and lots of flowers around it so that it will be beautiful for the people that come to the hospital here to be able to relax. In Australia I was never a builder. Uh, now I've become a builder. Uh, I'm the one directing uh, the sketches and, and the construction of the uh, places here. And the hospital that we try to construct is a church-based activity. And because it's church-based activity, that's why we put this cross. The most important person that will give them healing is God. And therefore, it's important that whatever we do, in our activities, we put God number one. And then the medicines we help will facilitate the healing of the illnesses. I felt that we needed to construct, or I needed to construct a chapel where all the surgeons and the people that come, the doctors and nurses, should be able to come for their prayers in this little church or little chapel that I'm constructing now. As you can see, the chapel is just um, uh, got its frame, but not completed because I ran out of money. And uh, hopefully, when I find money, it will be completed soon. Uh, and then we should be able to go and wash it inside. In the six years, I planted some mango trees. I planted oranges, lemons, jackfruits, avocados, bananas, and many other exotic fruits. Um, hopefully, when my mangoes are all fruity, I'm going to dry them and send them to Australia for sale. And my Australian friends should be able to taste the beautiful Kajikeji mangoes. The ground used to be an area where people didn't think that anything can grow. Uh, now, it's amazing when you see all the fruits are so green and beautiful. Yes. Thinking of my Australian experience and my life in Australia, and even though I don't eat meat, I will never forget chap kebabi. And therefore, I'm constructing an area here where all my Australian French, when they come here, this is where we're going to chuck a barbie in this particular area here.